It, hata kwa kanisa zingine they are providing wifi because their business is not to convert people but to take offerings and tithes. You must let me tell you never lose focus of what you want to achieve in life. Am I right? Most of us people you know what focus means follow one course until you succeed focus. Follow one course until you succeed and practice practice my brother you know what happens. Now if your phone links here I normally charge people 2,000 shillings. I only appoint a treasurer, and we shall share the proceeds after the session. <laughs> Those are various ways of making money. <laughs> and remember, we went. I was actually speaking to the, to the ministers of uh, Songko. You forget. You forgive me if your brother, your husband, your wife worked in, uh, is a CEC in county government of Nairobi. I had a problem with them. I was in the Mobasa with them on during Easter. The CECs and the chairman of the various wards. Please, as I talk about etiquette. Do you know this? Okay, I was able to calm them down. But they were speaking. They were picking the phones. Even you. Hello! Where is Zinima Kobia? Abia yo vijana kuja. Unajua ata kubuka ako kwa meeting. Ata watu wekine kwa kanisa. Do you know what I tell people? I can tell you. I'll teach you a few things about attributes of a leader. Let alone. And the characteristics of a leader. You don't have to say you are a leader. The Bible says that we shall know them by their fruits. It is not the container that defines the content, but rather it is the content that defines the container. If I philosophize, I'm one. Have you gotten the point? It is not the container that defines the content, but rather it is the content that defines the container. Do you, set, do you have goals? Set goals in life. Do you make plans? Do you get to work to have them uh, being translated? into results. By the way, in life, we don't recognize effort. We recognize results. I hope you have underlined that way. In life, we never recognize efforts. We recognize results. Now, do you stick to your goals? Some of you, last year you made resolutions, even 2016, but how many of them did you achieve? Some of you forget one philosophy. That everything in the supermarket is good, but it's not meant for you. If you're not married, diapers don't make sense to you. But you can't go telling the owner of the supermarket to remove them from the shelves. Because somebody with that need will come. If you go to Kenyatta National Hospital, you have all the departments. Orthopedic department, oncology department, dent uh, uh, de uh, dental department. We have maternity and we have mortuary. Can you take yourself to mortuary? Nimekuja. Chukwen. In life, you must set a goal and you must know specifically what you want to achieve. And then how do you reach your goal? And I'm telling you today, there are people that you have in your phone book that you must delete today and forever. Who don't add value to you. As a matter of fact, they have been the stumbling block in your progress in life. They, keep, they are what you call disruptors in your life. If somebody is not adding value to you, do away, it is not written in the Bible, you must be together with that individual. Even your spouse sometimes can be a disruptor. And some of them become, and I was surprised that I make you laugh. The spouses we have today, all of us, including me, when we married them, we had limited resources. So we had limited choices. I put a vacari higher. And I repeat without fear of contradiction, without iota of contradiction. Some, right now, the degree of your exposure, exposure is so high that given another opportunity, things will not be the way they are today. The status will be disturbed. When you made a choice that time, you had limited resources, and therefore, you had limited choices. You just went to a dancing hall. Shini kwa shini, kamatia shini, kamatia shini. Yule abaya likuja kakubani dia ulipere kanyubani. Andre, to realize that... <laughs> anyway... Goes I. I will tell you here, here. I have never lost money personally in any given venture. I, I never joined Desi. I never joined the Ponzi schemes. Because the problem with Kenyans, they don't have consultation. And that's why some of us people die early. How many of you deliberately walk from their home, comfort of their homes, to go and see a doctor for medical checkup without doctor's recommendation? That you take your bag, then you go to Dr. Wanyoike or Dr. Hekonyo of Karen. Nimejireta. Umetuma daktari gani? Hakuna. Ni mimi nimejire. Nifanyue ECG. Na nifanyue 
echo and if I knew blood chemistry. You find a man who has a problem with, that, with his leg, akiamuka na bia bibi. Uh, kwanza kuja na kuja na hiyo maji moto na shumvi. Sugua hapa. Sugua hapa wacha maswali miki ni ya clinic. Sugua hapo. Alafu leta Panadol. Hapa na kumbe ngoja. Uh, ngoja. Au. Okay, sa Panadol. Okay, sa Panadol. Then, na yeye ni mwalimu. Then you unakuja shule. Unajua hutaki wanafunzi wajue. Ukifika hapa ulikuwa you are in Bengal all the way from your house. Lakini ukifika shule, you know put on a Ata is muko sawa? You know. <laughs> By the time you go to hospital, the doctor says if you came early, we could not have amputated your leg. But at the moment your leg is so infected that the only option we have for now is to amputate it from here. Most of you, you have no investment of good caliber. Because you don't believe. If I tell you, by the way, I thank God, yesterday I got two ministers in my office. Of course, I have an office with a red carpet. And we bought the carpet in Istanbul together with what the state house they were buying. I bought mine too. <laughs> I'm not proud. Honestly, step into my office. I have a beautiful office, red carpet, red in color. So the ministers came and they said, We have heard you a lot over the radio, over the TV. Now, please advise us on our incomes. Mr. Masher, where she was, you saw those guys? They came. And you know what? You can imagine which sex they belonged to. Yes. Men. They were ladies. They were ladies. Ladies are the ones moving the economy. Although they suffer from impasse buying. <laughs> Let's be honest. Wanaume ni wanaume ni gati, ni gam. Hata kununua koti anaiangalia, ati hii ni pesa kapi? 2000. Ifanya nini na hiyo? Na hana koti ingine na hiyo anaenda kunywa pope. Alafu ana download within that minute goes to the urine or download. Comes back again. Takes the same stuff. Apart from me because I have several suits. Many <laughs> Many men have very few suits because it's near nini sasa hii kwa hiyo tunadua ndio. Unamkuta na ile koti alikuwa nayo made wa ta Wednesday yako nayo. Lakini ile pope imekunyuliwa between Monday and Wednesday ya suti gapi? Nne. Nakuja hapo. So concept. You know, I look at people. I normally use what you call the observation method. Sometimes I have never taken beer in my entire life. That's what I can say. And I have never smoked. Neither have I taken any form of drug apart from prescribed. And that is me before God. But where you call a man? You know there's a man. You must do what you call with you, you have to do what you call both situational and sensitivity analysis. And then you look at what you call the acceptable region for those who have done statistics. In the middle, you have the mean. Okay. How often do you people go to a doctor without being referred by another doctor? How often do you go to a consultant? Some of us have no goals. I'll disturb your mind today. You never achieve anything worth the whole without a dream or a clear goal in your life. Let me give you an example so that you may start thinking like me now. Because I like thinking. You must get to Kwashule, you can college with more than 450 students, and they pay that 1,000 shillings per term. So you can imagine that. Oh. <laughs> That's why I came driving a 7 million car here. The car I came driving in anyway. <laughs> now you are 7 million is worth a house with three bedrooms, three toilets. <laughs> but I'm driving it all alone because I'm not suffering from financial crisis. And I have a good financial base for my life. I know a car is a depreciating asset. Once you make money, enjoy life. You only live once. Where is Matiba now? He's being cremated. Where is Meshuki now? Where is Yaga Kalome? Enjoy life, my brother. You only live once. And I like the way you have dressed your suit and what I'm You bless me. And even see that you have something similar to me. That's how he does know each other. <laughs> Goal setting. Look at that Munyama. Even the tail is in perfect harmony with the binoculars. Even the tail is in perfect harmony with the binoculars. Because it, it is called precision. Precision. Me, targeting with precision. And that's what I do in my life. People think I'm proud, and maybe some of you now will be saying that I'm proud. That, that's, your own, that's your own problem. And everybody is entitled to his or her own opinion. As long as, as long as my wife has not learned away, I'm still doing well. And my kids are in my compound, I'm still doing well. 
Because these are the parameters and parameters of life. Not other people. What people perceive me to be is their problem. The problem with you people, you want to stay like the way people perceive you. Be original. You are born an original, not a you break it. That's 500, uh, 1,000. I hope you are switching off. Now look at that animal. I like it. If I tell you why I took this photograph, some of you will not believe. This photograph was taken in Kuruga International Park.